Hi guys, it's Unders. So in today's Logic tutorial, we're gonna go over a really easy way to get chords built in the piano roll. If you don't know your musical theory or you're perhaps working in a key that's unfamiliar to you and you're just unable to spend the time working out chord inversions and things like that, this is a really simple way for you to just be able to mouse around and find those chords. Let's get into that. Say my name aloud. Hello guys, so here we are in Logic. Now, if these videos are helpful for you, please bash a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and if you've got questions or any other videos you'd like to see, throw that in the comments down below. So, what I'm gonna go over today is a quick little use of something called the Brush Tool in the Piano Editor. And it allows us to very quickly determine some chord functions and key functionality that is sort of unavailable otherwise using the scale quantize and it lets us build chords that we perhaps wouldn't know otherwise. It's very useful if you are not perfect at your music theory or you're working in unfamiliar keys, unfamiliar scales. So let me show you how this works. So what we have loaded here is just the a, a default piano from Logic with just this. Now in the piano roll editor, which we can access by having the channel here selected and pressing E, E is the default shortcut key to bring that up. We can then access another tool inside here, much like we have the tools for our playlist editor up the top, we have them here as well. We have our primary and we have a secondary, which is accessed by pressing the command key. Now if we press T and B, this changes our primary to a paintbrush tool. You can also press T and then scroll down, but B is the shortcut. Now, if we wanted to create some chords using this brush tool, we can just draw in like this and it will draw notes in and allow us to erase them by going straight over them. It draws them length based based on the scale and time quantize. If we put it on one, for example, it will give us a note length of one. So let's perhaps take one four and we'll have on four chord progression times like this. We then need to go to the scale quantize just below the time quantize and choose. We are gonna go F sharp and we're gonna go minor. This now will now only allow us to place keys that are relevant to this scale. See how it will not allow me to place a note here. This allows us to build up chord progressions very quickly. So let's perhaps start here on the F sharp. Yeah, so you can see how very quickly we can build chord progressions using this tool. We can make them considerably longer as well. And we can also create alternations of these. And the other upside of this is we can then very quickly adjust the time quantize and we could then put that on perhaps 116 and we can also play in a melody above our chord line. And we're always going to be within the correct key. Why that not may not be a masterpiece, it's been put together very quickly with no keyboard input whatsoever. And that is just a very quick little tip for using the brush tool in the piano roll. Thank you very much guys, I will see you on the next video.